Namaskar, I am Dr. Amit Bardwaj. I welcome you all for daily weather briefing for uh, uh, today, uh, 1st of September 2023. So as you can see, uh, the past 24 hour uh, rainfall observed in our IMD observatories are shown here in, the, in this figure. As you can see the in the yellow portion, these are the heavy rainfall, the uh, amount of the rainfall has been reported here. As you can see, our isolated places of uh, uh, Himachal Pradesh, Konkan and Goa, uh, our Karnataka region, uh, Rayal Sima and uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, there is a heavy rainfall has been reported as well as uh, Andaman and Nicobar. So if we come to uh, specific forecast, the amount over north interior Karnataka, one of the station reported 11 centimeter, over south interior Karnataka, one of the station reported 11 centimeter and other is reported 9 centimeter of the rainfall. Tamil Nadu, Pondicherry and Kerikal, one of the station reported 9 cm and the other station reported 7 cm of the rainfall. So these are the observatories where the observed rainfall has been reported. Now if we come to the uh, today's main highlight for 5 days forecast, as you can see there will be increase in rainfall activity over east and east central uh, India from 2nd of September, that means from tomorrow onwards and isolated heavy to very heavy uh, Isolated heavy rainfall is likely over Kerala and Andaman for during Andaman and Nicobar Island during next five days, and uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telanga during third and fifth of September. And uh, uh, there will be subtle of rainfall activity uh, likely over remaining parts of the country during next five days. Now these are the uh, significant weather. Now if we come to what are the synoptic systems uh, for the next five days forecast and. Uh, this is synoptic system for today's. As you can see, there uh, the monsoon trough line is uh, near to the foothill of Himalaya, so uh, uh, it is not been shown here. But the other systems are there, like there is a cyclonic circulation at 0.9 km above mean sea level over the Comorian area, and there is a north-south trough uh, which uh, uh, passes from uh, south interior Karnataka to uh, the center of the Comorian area. And you will also see that uh, at the lower tropospheric level, that means 0.9 km above from mean sea level, there is another cyclonic circulation over South Chhattisgarh. And there is a cyclonic circulation over north, northeast and adjoining areas of the Bay of Bengal. Uh, this cyclonic circulation extends up to a height of 4.5 km above mean sea level. And we can also see at uh, 3.1 km above mean sea level, there is a uh, trough which passes from the center of the uh, this cyclonic circulation up to the Andhra Pradesh coast. So these are the major uh, uh, synoptic system due to that uh, there will be uh, uh, rainfall activity and uh, in the graphical format we are providing the five days forecast. As you can see here for the day one uh, there will be a heavy rainfall warning has been uh, issued for north, uh, northeast India as well as southern peninsular India for uh, few days as you can see for northeast of India day 1 to day 3 heavy rainfall warning has been issued for Assam, Meghalaya and MMT region and uh, for Kerala actually we have issued for up to day 5 as well as uh, day 1 to day 5 Andaman, Nicobar Island for 5 days heavy rainfall warning has been issued. For other parts like uh, South Interior, Karnataka and as well as Tamil Nadu uh, the heavy rainfall uh, warning has been issued for day 1 as you can see in this picture and remaining parts of the India are been receiving light to moderate rainfall at isolated places so uh, for that no action and no warning has been issued. Now if we come to the day 2 uh, as you can see northeast India and southern peninsula India uh, Odisha is also uh, will receive a heavy rainfall uh, amount at isolated places for the day 2 and if we come to the day 3 the main, main activity of east central and uh, east coast of India is uh, an adjoining states are receiving the heavy rainfall uh, amount from uh, day 3 onwards, day 3, day 4, day 5. So if we see like Gangetic West Bengal, Odisha, uh, Chhattisgarh, uh, Vidarbha, Telangana, Rayal Sima, North Interior Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, they are actually, uh, there will be increase in rainfall activity over East Central and uh, these regions for day 3 as well as day 4. In day 4 you can see that Uttarakhand. Uh, uh, and uh, for the Uttarakhand day 4 and day 5 heavy rainfall warning has been issued and for East UP uh, day 4 the heavy rainfall warning has been issued. Now if we come to the day 5 so you can see the Uttarakhand day 4 day 5, uh, East UP day 4 day 5 and the east central part of the India uh, uh, and uh, uh, 
Kerala as well as Andaman and Nicobar. This warning has been issued. So these are five days uh, warning for the heavy rainfall event over these states. And due to these, there will be uh, localized flooding on the roads, and there will be uh, uh, traffic jams, and uh, there will be damage to the kacha roads. So those things are there. So all are advised uh, to take precaution uh, over the respective states. I thank you. Thank you for.